the cat came back and what do you know? He heard a crowd shout, go dog, go. Then a man named Sam gave him green eggs and ham. He followed him chanting, Sam. Hey guys, welcome back to another Little Art Adventures program. Today, in honor of Dr. Seuss Day, what we're gonna be doing is Dr. Seuss thing one and thing two, handprint crafts. So for today's activity, what you're gonna need is some white sheets of paper, you're gonna need a black marker, some red and blue paint, you're gonna want some glue, you're gonna want two also white circles, an extra cup of water or a bowl of water, a re regular cup of water and some paint brushes, okay? So first things first, before we start painting, what I'm gonna do is just slide my papers up and I'm gonna take my two white circles and trace out the circles in black and write thing one and thing two on them. Like that. So we're gonna place that to the side. We're also gonna put our, our black marker to the side for now. So next, what I'm then gonna do is take one of my brushes. So I'm gonna take a medium to small size brush. This, I'm gonna take one of my paper towels, like so. Dry it off. And I'm going to first Start with my right hand. I'm going to paint it starting from right here all the way up around to about right here. We're gonna paint that with the blue first. So I'm gonna dip in my blue. So again, I'm gonna start about right here, bring it up. I'm gonna leave a little space in the middle of my hand because that is gonna be the face of our um, thing one and thing two. Is on the loose. So once you have your hand painted to your liking, to something like this, we're going to press our hand. You're gonna put your, your, your ring or your middle finger to the top of the page, or whichever your longest finger is to the top of the page, and press it down, push firmly, and lift up. So put my paintbrush down. Okay. So I'm gonna take some more paint and fill in parts that didn't stick onto the paper. Just gonna fill that in with a little bit more paint. Place my finger down, push firmly. Make sure you get all your fingers. Okay, and it should look like that. Okay, so you have your first print. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other paper. Dr. Seuss is on the loose. Mr. Cup came by with the seven hump Offered him a ride on the wolf of gum. They came upon some beds with ten apples on top. With the whole town chasing them to make the apple drop. Okay, so I have my hand already done. I'm going to take my hand down, pressing firmly, making sure to get all of my hand print onto the page. Ready to box with the hairy guts. And watching them was a man And there you have it. You have your two hand prints, okay? So Taking my cup of water, moving that to the side, I'm just gonna stick my hand inside of my bowl of water and rub that together to get the 
that blue paint off. This is why you want to move kind of quickly so that way the paint doesn't really settle too much on your hand. And you also want to use some washable paint, something that's going to get, um, that won't stick to your hand as much. Okay. So once I have my hand, um, once I have the blue off my hand as much as possible, I'm just going to take a paper towel, wipe my hand. Okay. And we are going to move on to the red paint. So you're drying your hand off. See, I got the blue off. I'm going to take my bowl of water, move it up. Take my cup of water. Take the rest of my brushes out. Put them to the side. Take the brush that I was using and clean off my brush. You heard a crowd shot. Go, don't go. I'm going to take another sheet of paper towel, dry off my brush, okay? And now I'm going to turn my sheets of paper upside down and I'm going to use the red paint to paint my entire hand. The same right hand, we're going to paint it red. I'm just going to dip it into the red paint. I just start painting my hand red. So the blue part acts as the top part of the thing. One is in two bodies. And the um, red part is going to be the bottom half of the thing. One thing, two bodies. With one fish, two fish, red fish, blue. So your hand should look like something like that. I'm going to place my brush down. Where, where the half part of your hand in, that's where you want to place your your finger, spread it out, push down. Freshly in the middle, because you want to make sure you get the middle part of the paint. You're going to lift up. Okay. And it should look like that. Okay? So now we have our body. Now we're gonna do take the red paint and we're gonna do it again. So at this point, the blue paint should have already started to dry. We didn't really use too much paint, but we used enough so that it can stick onto the paper. Well, the cat came back and what do you know? You heard a crowd shout, go, don't go. Then a man named Sam gave him green eggs and ham. He followed him. I have my hand covered, place my paintbrush down. Again, starting at the half point, I'm just going to place my hand down, spread it out, press firmly, focusing on the center and my fingers. Once I got it to where I think it's set, move this up, and there we have that. Watching them was a man named Brown, Mr. Brown, he was upside down. Now that you have your thing one and thing two bodies already made, we're then going to take some glue and put it on the back of our thing one and thing two circles. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue. And then they passed a yawning yellow yak with yep, Yolanda Jorgensen yelling on his back. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss is on the loose. You won't believe who the cat would meet As the wolf carried him down Mulberry Street An elephant he won't Who said he heard a hoot The yurtle, the turtle, and Willy Waterloo The doctor says And now we're going to take our markers We're going to draw our face So I'm just going to do like Two semicircles For the eyes Draw a little circle for the nose for the books, for the books you sent our way. Yeah. 
And there you have it. Your thing one and thing two handprint crafts. So that's all for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. Let us know what you did differently and, and how you drew your faces. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. See you guys next time. Bye.